Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn how to schedule your Python processes. So probably one of the main reasons that you would like to schedule a Python process is that you do not want to sit in your computer and just hit enter whenever you want to probably run your process. And in some cases, you would like it to be automatically done, for example, at the end of the day or every hour or even as short as like every 10 seconds. So in order to do that, um, we need to do uh, import the uh, schedule uh, package. So once we've done that, we're going to do the basic rep scraping and we are going to ask the program to do these process, um, like say for example, every six seconds or so. Okay, so if I were to import my schedule process right now, then you will probably notice that I do not have the schedule module. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to tools and open up a Kenobi terminal. Okay. In my Kenobi terminal, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to install schedule package. Okay. It's probably installing. It has downloaded it and successfully installed it. Okay. Now after that, I'm going to ask this to run. Okay. So what I'm asking this program to do is that I'm going to ask to do this job that is scraping the price information for every six seconds. Okay. Let's see what happens if I run this program. Okay. Now I will probably see an input. So it got the Sony 55 inch television and it's priced at 799.99. And you can probably notice that it's scraping every six seconds. So that is, it was scraped at 12.31 uh, or uh, now it's 12.32 uh, at 10 seconds. And we'll probably see another scrape at roughly around 17 seconds later. And another scrape at 23, which is roughly around another six seconds later. Okay, and again at 30, roughly around another six seconds later. Okay, so let me close this program now because I have successfully ran it. Okay, so I just interrupted it. So, yes, you will probably notice that the job that I have defined is scraping the information that we have been doing for our previous videos and for the scheduler I'm asking to do it for every uh, six seconds so maybe in this case let me change it to every 10 seconds okay then um, I'm gonna run this again and let's see what happens if I were ask it to run for every 10 seconds okay so now I've got it at um, 1233 at 18 seconds and again, at six sec roughly around six seconds after that, and after four seconds after that, I'm getting it, okay? So the reason why I'm getting this, um, the previous six seconds and the 10 seconds is that I didn't clear my schedules, okay? So that is, in order to clear all the functions that I had before, I'm going to have to call clear schedule here. So that is, I'm going to type in clear.schedule. I'm gonna clear that just to make sure that I'm going to make uh, clear all the schedules. Now, if I go back into this program and ask it to run, I'm going to probably be scraping this price information for every 10 seconds. Okay. So let's go back again. And let's look at our output. Okay. In roughly around 10 seconds, I'm going to probably get a script. Okay, so I'm getting 12, 34, and 23 seconds. It has made a script. And let's see if I get another one after, okay, yes, 34 seconds, roughly an another 10 seconds after that, I got my scraped information. Okay, and another 10 seconds after that, I got my scraped information, and let me clear this, okay? Let me abort and let me clear um, any schedules that I have. Now I'm going to kill every schedule that was there. 
Now you will probably notice that I could do this for every 10 seconds, but I could also do it for every 10 minutes, okay? And I could also do it for every how many hours. And I can also definitely schedule it at, um, in this case, uh, 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 22 hours and 17 minutes, which is um, uh, uh, 10 p.m. at night. And I can schedule it. You could probably have it at probably end of the day, which is 11.59 p.m. Then I can schedule it to do the job at that time. So having all of this is obviously going to uh, make your life a little bit more easier in terms of um, scheduling and scraping whatever information. Okay, so that is um, you could notice that I have scraped all these price informations and obviously for televisions and big purchases like this, you probably won't expect a big change in terms of prices. So that is you will probably notice that yes, um, the Sony 55 inches. 7.99 and it'll probably remain 7.99 for quite a long time but for very price sensitive um, products you could probably schedule this every second or every minute or even by the hour and say that okay um, it has been changed um, like 10 minutes ago or did it change uh, for how many minutes ago or how many seconds ago or whichever configuration of time that you would like to have okay so yes, you can probably repeat this and um, probably do it on your own. And hopefully this was a very helpful video and you are pretty much clear in terms of how to schedule your uh, Python programs. Okay, thank you, bye.